You want to work with brands like Fashion Nova, Shane, Mika's, so many brands that I know you want to work with and you even want to be a wig influencer or, or a wig model, whatever they call. Well, you click the right video because I have worked with all these brands that I listed here. Let me tell you how to get brand deal, okay? The first advice that I will give you is to post. There is no way a brand is gonna know you if you don't post. Now, I know so many people that ask me on Instagram, oh my gosh, how do you get in a, in a reality TV show? How do you make a fashion of a high work with Shane? And their page is private. There's no way you're gonna be out there if your page is private. Why would you have your page private if you're trying to show the world your, you know, your work, your creativity? So you need to stop putting your page in private and you need to post. Okay, you need to post. My second rule that I'm gonna to give to you is you need to be consistent. I know this sounds crazy. This, I know you don't wanna hear that, but consistency is the key. Because think about it. If you're posting one post every six months, how is a brand is gonna to wanna to work with you when they know that you barely post? You get me? When I say you need to be consistent, I mean like you need to really work hard. You need to at least try to post four posts on Instagram a week or maybe like four Instagram, I mean four YouTube videos. Consistency, I feel like consistency will help your channel or your any platform, it will help it grow, okay? So another thing that I'm gonna say is you cannot act thirsty. This is very important. And I personally feel like a lot of people, you know, that wanna be content creators, they they don't get brand deals because they act thirsty okay I'm if you want to be a content creator you need to look presentable okay i'm not telling you to wear a lot of makeup i'm not telling you to look expensive but you need to at least look like you can put yourself together you know and again these brands are looking for good quality work like you don't really have to buy a phone you don't have to buy a ring light as long as you have a daylight that's fine you know as long as your background is like either white nude or, or like you know like nice colors that's fine that's what I think and you also need to look pretty like again you don't have to wear makeup but like you need to look okay you know and if you don't have money you know to get your hair done or your, or your makeup done you can do it by yourself also so it's really weird, but my thing with brand deals, I feel like you just have to work hard, pray, and let God do the job. I wouldn't even like to. Because I have worked with Shane, Fashion Nova, I have never contacted those brands, and they ended up contacting me. Okay? And my thing is, again, I feel, okay, so, when I started doing content, I tried to contact brands, but they used to tell me no all the time. Like, I, I, got, reje I got rejected one time in the beginning, I said never again. So I just started creating content, I'm like, listen, if a brand thinks I'm fit for their product, they will send it to me. Um, I'm not telling you not to reach out to them, you can, but I do believe that there's a big difference between a brand reaching out to you and you reaching out to them. I do feel like most of the times when a brand, when brands will reach out to you, they wanna pay you, they wanna make you, you know, their full-time influencer, like they wanna be consistent with your work and they respect your work. When you actually contact them, it's not gonna be like a consistent brand deal where they will pay you or send you package every you know every month like some of these brand deals they don't want to pay nothing i wouldn't even like to okay so my advice for those who want to do like fashion what i can say is even if you don't have no clothes at all go to your closet choose like a lot of items that you already wore it's okay you know try to be stylish you don't have to have the most expensive background like if i tell you how i started my videos it's crazy okay it's crazy so with fashion what you want to do is you want to just be consistent like I mentioned before and you want to use hashtags you want to use 
trending um, audio example for Instagram you want to use audios that are no more than 10k because once an audio I have like 1 million um, like videos it's really hard for them to push your video in my opinion that's what I think um, and I do believe that using hashtags really matters and when you're doing a video you kind of want to make sure that the first three seconds of your video it's something like very important either you know you're moving around or like you've been exciting like the first three seconds of, of your video have to catch your viewers attention that's really what I believe and you also want to be unique you know you don't want to be just like every other influencers and do not copy please don't copy listen you can get inspired but you kind of want to have like your own style you know again um so if you want to get brand deals wig the best thing I can really tell you is for you to be girly I don't care what nobody says there is there is no way you are a tumble and they're gonna send you a wig that's impossible okay so I'm not telling you to wear makeup you don't have to wear makeup like you know as long as you have like a nice t-shirt you have your earrings you know you have your hair done brands will see like oh you know like okay like this person knows how to put themselves together so let's send them a wig now when these brands DM you you need to charge them because if you don't charge them they will take you for idiots Idiots, okay? That happened to me one time. I worked with this brand, I'm not gonna say it's one of the top brands, okay? I was like I was like 20. When they emailed me, I didn't know I didn't know that I was supposed to charge them. So I worked with them for like five years, and when I was asking to get paid, they never try to pay me. So I don't want this to happen to you guys. Is you know, even if you have that old wing in your closet style it on camera you know you can do like a little get it getting ready with me a chit chat you can do vlogs brands love for girly girls especially wig brands i wouldn't even lie to you again you don't have to wear makeup but as long as you look very pretty and you know you look confident on camera they really 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 love that now if you want to get so you basically are going to get brand deals based on the content that you really make i believe so like example i look like i'm girly right i have makeup on i have my you know my hair done whatever blah blah blah, blah. so a lot of brands will send me like earrings lipstick makeup so how you present yourself those are the kind of brand deals that you will get most likely right so like i mentioned before just be patient and those brands will hit you up i myself I don't really feel comfortable reaching out to brands. I don't know. I feel like they don't answer. Like I have worked with maybe like 50 wig companies. I won't even lie to you. Maybe 50 wig companies. Where all the where did all the 50 wigs went? I don't even know. Or maybe more. Okay. But my thing is, all of the brands that I work with them, I never reach out to them. Never. So what you have to do is you just have to be patient, be consistent, make sure that whenever you're recording your background looks something like this. It doesn't have to look like this, but you know, even if it's like just like all white, even if it's like this and you're like right here, that also look professional. You need to invest in yourself. When I say invest in yourself, I mean like save up your money to buy a ring light ring light is very important i'm gonna show you how important it is to have a good lighting right now everything is bright right hold up do you see how nasty this video look like it's way too dark you really can't see me you cannot see my hair or my makeup now brand deals they love like videos that have light because this way you are able to see their product now if you're gonna be doing wig videos you need to make sure that you're when you're taking a picture you're not wearing no hat with with the wig on like when you're taking a picture for a brand you need to make sure that the product is seen okay i'm gonna give you an example let's say well i am modeling for this hair right i cannot be on camera doing a tutorial like this 
the whole entire video no i have to show the length of the hair you know like you need to advertise the item that you're selling okay and again if you want to be a content creator you also need i'm not telling you to, su to support everybody but it's really important for you to sometimes go you know on instagram like some people's pictures you know interact with people that are in the same field as you i feel like that is very very important and also and also too if you really want to get brand deals you need to put your email in every platform i don't care every platform listen if you want to have like an email just for brand deals that's okay or if you want to use you know your original email for brand deals that's fine but you like you need to have your email on your profile because most brands they will hit you up on on email or on instagram i do feel like when it comes to clothing brands like shane fashion over Pretty little thing they will hit you up on Instagram because most of the times people they don't really trust emails like that right so you need to put your Instagram your email on your bio and you know like don't think about it too much just enjoy your journey um, being an influencer it's really 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 fun oh my gosh I feel like I'm just starting to have gratitude right now so being an influencer it's a really fun but i can say a really lonely journey if you don't have boundaries you need you need to invest on a ring light first of all a tripod um there is tripods on amazon that comes with the remotes already so you don't have to travel spend a lot of money to create content okay if you don't have it yet if you have like a nice hotel you can go inside there take some pictures or if you live like in a nice apartment that have like white walls plain um brown walls take a picture there work with what you have right now until you get up there okay you need to have gratitude um and also the best thing that i'm gonna be telling you guys is that being a influencer is a really fun journey because the fact that you get to really get whatever you want is crazy like i can't remember when was the last time i actually bought a wig like the last time i actually bought a wig was in pandemic was in pandemic you guys knew that and the last time i actually ordered a clothes the last time i ordered clothes from like an online store it was during pandemic too so but it can also be a lonely journey if you don't have the right people around you because some people will try to use you